Hi, I want to take you through a quick analysis of Wall Street Bets Reddit comments. So the what we're trying to produce from this is an analysis of the actual words or tokens. And we're trying to look for bigrams, which are two words that are consecutively together. And these trigrams also. Also, we did a little bit of uh, work on emojis. So let me take you through the code very quickly. So the first thing we did was import our essential libraries, pandas, numpy. We imported NLTK, NLT.corpus stop words because we want to eliminate all the uh, stop words like uh, to and prepositions and the then we brought in tokenized so we can take the individual sentence and and break them into tokens and limitizer word net limitizer to get to the base word uh, instead of uh, having different forms of the word and ingrams allows us to create that um, collection of bigrams and trigrams Counter will allow us to count each one of those. Seaboard and matplotlib is our visual library. I'm bringing in the Wall Street Bets read CSV. The check info column gives us what's in there. So we have a title, which where I'm going to focus on the title of the comment. We have a Reddit score, ID URL. Uh, number, comms number, body, and a timestamp. First thing I wanted to do is turn that timestamp into a date time. And then I did a little bit of work by creating a day, an hour, a day of week column, and ensuring that I could do that using the dot DT to get to the date for the day. Uh, switch that back over to a timestamp and just continue to do the same for hour and the day name and now in the head you can see that here is day of week we have a new data frame because I just wanted to focus on March and now that we have that timestamp we can just filter by anything over uh, this period of time because I saw that right around February 1st when we saw the big spike so I wanted to include that also so this includes all of February and March and you can see that there I grouped the comments and counted them uh, and also brought in a title where I wanted to see the max comments that day so it was 2791 and just added that to the title now we get into the NLP part of this. So I created a comment by just completely bringing in, joining all of the titles together. And then I tokenize that to just bring in everything. into individual words and then all I did was count the top five days of the comments and we can see we have that there now that we have I comments we can start to clean them and if you want to take a look at, let me just show you what the comments look like. So if I just copy and paste comments here. And run that. Now you can see all the, all the different comments with the emojis and everything there. And we're going to do some work on these emojis also. Now we want to clean these comments of all this punctuation, the 
capitalization and everything. So I created a function called clean words where we're going to bring in those tokens and then we're going to lower it. This is just using for loops, but in a list comprehension, then I wanted to get everything that's not in the stop words. I wanted to just get the alphabet so we can deal with the emojis and later I limitized everything by getting to the base word and then I saved that in something called lowered after I ran the function and then I created a bag of words with and saved it as a variable BOW and use counter to count how many times these words popped up and this would be the result here you can see it's all lowered and alpha and just alphabetic words then I created a data frame so I could start visualizing this and the way you get to the individual parts in this would you use the item functions to get each one of these out and I created a data frame here looked at the uh, I kept the top 20 and then I visualized it so we can see that the GameStop and um, stock symbol and buy and Robin Hood are the top three then I wanted to look at the top two pairs that go together so just wanted to ensure that was the right approach and you can see what that looks like now I have a new function where I wanted to bring in a little bit more this part is the same part of that function but then I wanted to bring in the counting and the breaking up of uh, bigrams and trigrams all in the function so it would be easier to do also it creates all three data frames and it returns all three data frames so all I have to do is create three variables run that function three variables are going to capture each one of these data frames and then I can run that on our title on the data frame because it's also doing the work of tokenizing now you can see that data four which is this one is our trigram so we can see all the words that go together then we can start visualizing each one of these so we have our word frequency our bigrams and our trigrams then I wanted to do some work on the emoji so I brought in the emoji library we created another function where we joined all the sentences we tokenized the words and then we wanted to keep everything that was in emoji.unicode in um, the English format we created a bag of words by running this function over the title and then we were able to count each one of these and see them out here now that we have that I wanted to bring that into a data frame and just visualize the top 20 and we can see that the rocket ship and diamonds are the two highest ones please let me know if you would like um, some actual coding walkthroughs of how to use the NLTK library don't forget to like and subscribe um, I'll share this on github please comment on anything you would like to delve into from this video thank you